Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. All right, one win, no losses. Let's just see what we can do, see if Blood Reaver, Blood Reaver Gul'dan can deliver us some more victories. There is a thing where, at the end, in uh, on the 23rd of October, they're going to summarily end any arena runs they're going at that time. Although, so you get a free, uh, they'll give you a ticket for a free run and reward you for however many wins you already have, so... Could be worse. But uh, that's not going to affect this one. The next one, maybe. I don't know. But they're obviously they're doing something for Halloween, which may have been explained in the patch notes, and I just, like, missed it because I was skimming or whatever. But, uh, yeah, they're doing something. Or, for all I know, it's a permanent change in the arena that's coming. I don't think so, though. Okay, Egg and Anomaly are fine. Tar Lurkers, lame. Warlock, War Leader, and Starting Hand? Um, I'll, I'll keep it. You know what? I have other things I can cast. If I can get some Murlocs, they'll go well with him. You know what doesn't go well with Murlocs? Fellfire Potion. Should I have, what, three or four other Murlocs in here? At least two or three. This guy... Not a big fan of my So you'll just use that and then shoot him if I play him in coin. So that's not particularly good. If I play him, he's dead for sure. Will you kill him with the book? Will you shoot him? I want to. Coining out the egg is also sad. I'm j I'm just gonna hold off for a second. If I if I can get something else I can play and then play him then coin. So next turn like I could play him, coin him up to a two two and then draw a card. Not a fabulous play by any stretch of the imagination, but it's what I've got. If he eats the book and two of my opponent's mana, that would actually not be a bad trade for his one drop ass. Died boxes. So, are you doing anything over there? For all I know, this person's just sitting around taunting me constantly. I can't tell because it's supposed to. Fairy Dragon. That's not great. Rackling Rascal. Speaking of not great. Okay. Coin him out, have him out fast, and then get screwed by him. That's always a possibility. No, I, I think I'm going to stick with my plan of playing him and then wasting my coin to draw a card. But also make it bigger. See, it would have been better if I had that. Playing a 2-3 instead of drawing a card would have been a much better use of the mana there. Yeah, with, with the Fairy Dragon out, you're in perfectly good shape if you just hit book that, shoot it, and then hit me for 3. That's a totally solid turn. You're not complaining about anything. You're, like, happy with this outcome. Um... I guess we're going to egg. This is going to get ugly. <coughs> going to get ugly. So with the egg out there, Fellfire Potion would release a dinosaur. But we're quite a ways from that. And I'm taking a beating. And that's not great. Although, that'll work out really weirdly with this. You know what? If you're copying something, copy the Rattling Rascal. See how you like that. Confusion. Frozen Clone. Yeah, you get two copies of that guy. So you can potentially give me more skeletons. That is possibly the best use of the Rattling Rascal dumbass that I've had yet. It's a dumbass. I don't like that card. i got to stop taking him, but I'm, if I recall, I there was a, he was a terrible row. I was not happy with that arena row. Kill him, you get yourself a 5 5. Frost Nova. That's sub ideal. Ow. I'm taking a horrendous beating here. For 170. You know, this is not a bad play for now. It doesn't work out well with possible, like, Fellfire Potion-based plans, but it does work okay with my I'd like to not die now plan, because I'm at 18 health. Like, damn. 
Okay, so you're gonna get your own five five. Wow, this is not the time for that guy. So unfortunately, this guy will be at one hit point if he kills that. That is a terrible, like, that's not good. Do I blow a mana crystal to try and rectify this situation? Because I could blow up the 4-3 with the... Actually, why not just blow up the 5-5 five five with the glass crystal and then kill it with him and you still have to shoot him. Duh. I think we're doing that. Now, am I concerned with getting AoE'd? Not really, because it would release the egg and not finish this guy unless that thing also dies. So I am going to drop the Gnome Ferrati instead of drawing a card. Aw, oh, you ate your pummel. See, it's a psychological thing. I don't think that losing, like, statistically, not knowing in advance what card is going to be lost, I don't think this particularly impacts most games, particularly in the, re the arena. However, psychologically, it's quite annoying. Um, do I want to board wipe us? Because damn will it hurt. Like, it would hurt a lot. I'd be at 13, but... I'd have a 5-5 five five on the board and my opponent would not have stuff. I, I don't think there's a compelling reason to do it now. I don't know. I think I'm better off drawing cards and stuff. Is that much it? So I'm going to use this to pop the bubble. Ow. Then I'm going to pop you. While at Illusionist, that would work out well, not well with this because she dies. But I could play her and draw a card. Which is okay. Well, I, I'm actually okay with that play her and draw a card plan. She's actually somewhat protected there. I mean, if my opponent has a damage spell to kill her, then she's going to die anyway, so what, what am I worried about? Now, next turn, even despite the Blast Crystal Potion, I will finally have enough mana to play the Curator, which would be more taunt. He's Flame Strike survivable. And he. I've got to have at least a couple things. He'll give me a Murloc, which I definitely have left in there. Oh, those guys coming out. Ah, yes. Forbidden Flame that. Well, that's annoying. But you've given me no reason to preserve the current state of existence, so I guess I'll just take the damage. Because I'll get two five fives. Ow. So, now I need to not die. I'm at 13 health. I could potentially just get Pyroblasted next turn. If I get Fireballed right now, that's a good sign that I'm going to get Pyroblasted next turn. God damn it. I don't have many things that can get me out of Pyroblast range. I can't cast my Death Knight yet, so I think I'm just dead. Although killing that would get me out of Pyroblast range. Hey, wait a second! This is a strange turn of events. So let's, uh, bam. Coil. Let's not lag out, please. Gul'dan, that'll be good soon. Not yet. Let's hit you for five. I've got more hit points now than I did before. And let's uh, curate myself some stuff. Even though now that I have Gul'dan, I don't need the curator so much thinning out my deck. Threshadon and Logil. Nice. I now have a huge handful of awesome stuff, but I need to live. And I don't know what's happening. Playing the give your opponent 8 health guy, and then directly damaging me instead of blowing up one of my 5-5s, five seems like a really, like, insanely odd and kind of dumb choice. I'm a little confused by that. Um, that thing is fairly dangerous now. Uh, I can't play this yet. That's unfortunate. 
So let's see. Both my guys together, he would barely survive, and it wouldn't really work out for me. So I can only do one damage with this, so that's not going to get me close enough to killing that guy. Yeah, that's a concern. There's a big ass thing. I think I want the Threshodon out there, which does mean not playing more Taunt, which is risky. Because I can play a lot of Taunt right now, and I'd kind of be happier that way. Okay, if I play him and shooting something for one with the uh, Murloc, not that useful. Okay, let's. And I'd rather have out the Threshodon, but let's let's play the Taunt. Let's just play all the taunts. Let's get rid of that thing. And spell damage that guy. Just, just for the hell of it. It's not actually helpful. So you can just shoot the curator. Now, it's not like my minions are any threat to you, but if they can hold you off long enough for this to kick in. I mean, playing this, I do get five hit points that turn from the armor. Okay, missiles. I don't know if that's a big deal or not. Ow. That seems like a random thing to play. Like, I guess it could have saved you the two mana to shoot him, but you're just going to do it anyway, most likely. That's actually potentially annoying, but uh, no, I can handle it. Okay, so speaking of handling it, I think he's okay. I'm not as worried about him. I think we should kill that 5-3. Yeah. Even though I can like kill a 5-3 pretty easily next turn. Now, I have a million cards, my opponent does not, and now I have a death knight. And I'm hoping my opponent does not, because I think the mage death knight will still beat me in a fight. Although I have a shit ton of cards right now. Shoot him. Sure sign you're not playing the death knight, but... Oh, that sucks. Ow. That guy is pretty big, and he hits me for 7 every turn. Ow. That was not the plan. That is perfectly the plan, because I have 1 damage from him, 3 from this, and 1 from him. That means dead idiot guy. And heal. And, ah, why not make this guy big enough to take out the dread steed. Oh, oh, yeah, he was anyway. I forgot. Eh. It's another thing on the board. Do you have a Pyroblast? Because I'm dead. It looked a little bit like you had a Pyroblast earlier, but I'm not sure you did. In fact, I'm pretty sure you didn't. But Again, I don't understand that one turn when you did five damage to me instead of killing one of my two five fives. That was weird. But, okay. That's annoying, because now you can take out the Dreadlord with that stupid... Right. You hit me for a lot of damage, too, though. Yeah, you're more worried about staying alive. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go... Bam. I can, I can do elemental research next turn. Um, we can, we can freeze the phoenix. I don't really care. Just the the card advantage from the do three damage heal three every turn is massive. Hey, that guy. Well, this is this is it. This is my opponent's full court press to kill me. It might work, unless I can get a taunt. Okay, that's not a taunt. Definitely don't want to silence that guy. Can we get a taunt? Oh man, it would have to be the three mana one because I need to be using this. Is this still worth it? Because I'm going to get hit for a lot. I'm going to kill that. I'm going to get hit, hit for like so eight, nine. Oh, man, it's going to be close. I'm going to heal three. No, I should be okay in theory. Brothers. Getting the three mana tar guy would be excellent. That's not the three mana tar guy. We're going to take him anyway, but we can't use him now. We're going to kill that. We kill this, and we don't. the 5-5 five five doesn't help us right away, but the three hit points does. Crucially, and we're gonna play this too. We've got we've got stuff in our hand. If we don't get any more locks, it's fine. We just need to not die. 
uh, Flame Strike would be pretty terrible tacular. Oh, 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 if you have a Fireball, I'm dead. God damn it! That was so close, because I was totally stabilized there. She was out of cards, but that card was not a Flame Strike or something that did six or more damage to me. I was probably going to win that game, I think, but god damn it. So annoyingly close. Did I get screwed by giving my opponent double crappy skeleton suicide guy? I don't think so. Like, it happened to work out okay for her, but I think of all the things I could have given her, like, the earlier one worked out pretty damn well for me. And there was no guarantee that that was the secret, but it was a good bet that even that that was the card I should play if it was going to be a mirror entity or a frozen clone. Another goddamn mage. A lot of non-mage classes would have a much harder time dealing with my, like, killing everything and healing three every turn. The mage is the one who had the best chance to just finish me off, and it sucked. We don't need that early game. I don't think we need that early game. Although I'll probably draw worse, more expensive stuff. Nope, those are pretty good things. I don't think the Murloc bonus is going to work out because I'm against a mage. Stupid rattling rascal. You are not the powerhouse of my dreams. So, do you coin shoot this guy or do you play a thing? That is the question. Nope, you're not going to waste that. Fair enough. Do I play Murloc Dude? Murloc Dude is less likely to get shot. If, I mean, if it's Arcane Blast, they both die. This is a waste of its power, but I might get off a 5, att five damage attack with it next turn. <sighs> because it, given the choice, your opponent's going to shoot the one that has an ability, not the Battlecry one, even though it's a Murloc. I don't, I don't think it's worth it, though. I don't think I gain enough from that gamble. This guy's guaranteed dead, but then I have a 2-3 left over afterwards. Arcane, Arcane Explosion would have been pretty annoying. Oh, you're not doing that either, so I can steal that stuff. Okay. I mean, I would have actually kicked ass with this thing, but I can still just kill that guy with this thing. It's fine. I need that spell damage. I don't have much in here that does the spell damage, although it's awesome for the mortal coils. Oh well. Okay. Well, this guy's gonna get shot, but do I play this? The 5-5 five five would be pretty good right now. But then I'm committed to I have to kill that guy. So it's not as easy to just take him out. I don't have a good way to deal with the 5-5 five five right now anyway. I don't think it's worth it. It's just too much of a pain to kill that thing. So no, let, let, let's just hit my opponent for 5. Or, okay, four. I don't know why I was thinking plus 3. Probably because he's out 3s, but... AoE would wreck me lots of things. It's it, 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 not going to take much to take apart this plan. Although, that didn't kill the Warlord. Interesting. Mortal Coil? No. No Coil. Um... Wow, I could play this guy and then silence him. That would be sweet. That's a seven mana play, and I've got a million seven mana plays, but I kind of like that plan, so maybe I'll draw a card. That's not the card I needed. Alright, well, this guy in this guy is not going to make it, so let's just kill the board. Yeah, my, my plans are more long-term, anyhow. don't really like not playing anything. My opponent's got a lot of cards built up, too. Oh, oh, two of them are those flaming poops. And you're playing both of them at once. You don't seem as interested in the saving for the elemental tech. Maybe your deck just has so many elementals that you don't care. Uh, freeze nothing. And draw a card. Violet Illusionist, you would have been good before I drew two cards. That's okay. So i got tons of choices for seven mana. Silencing my own guy may not be the strongest one, and for a 7 mana, I'm not actually getting that much out of him, but I had to take him. I didn't have a choice. I would like to use him without the drawback. 
the drawback is that it cost me an Iron Beak Owl. <sighs> we got Bone Mares. Bone Mares are so goddamn strong. And also, now I kind of want to silence that instead of what's his face. Hmm. I think that's pretty good. I'm getting my ass kicked. But if it's not, not like playing the the plan with the other guy is stupid right now, so that doesn't make sense. I could play this, but you get killed by a five two and then a one two. That's no good. No, every, everything actually sucks right now. Now, do I want to get myself a five five? knowing that it's going to give my opponent a 5-5 and it's not going to cancel out necessarily all that favorably for me. Drawing a card is painful right now, though. Do I waste the Blast Crystal to blow up that thing? There's going to be a better use for it later, but I think I should. I've got all the 7 mana plays in the world. I've got lots of stuff to do next turn. Maybe it wasn't worth wasting the Owl on that, because that Owl could have killed the 5-5. No, because the 5-2 would have killed the things anyway. It's bad. 5 2 taunt was a problem. Oh, see, that's what I wish I'm gonna wish I'd save my thing for. Guys, he's gonna be better than the naked 5 5 I blew up. All I can do is play a Threshadon. Okay, you chose some backup plan and Wind Fury. Oh, shit. I don't know any more silence. Wow, yeah. Good job wasting the thingy. The apparently much needed silence, because silencing that guy would be worth a lot. Or sorry, blast crystal was the main thing. The the blast crystal distracted. Oh my god, I'm just dead basically. Uh, disliking mages and bone mares right now, They're causing me serious problems. I can't even take that guy out. Like, there is nothing I can do. Could play her and draw a card that would then only have three mana to play, which is not going to save me. So, yeah, that's uh, that's game over. So many impossible. Now I have the ability that I could sort of trigger him for the future, but it's going to be too late for that. And There's nothing I could draw with for five mana that would save me either, like doing it without her and taking the extra two. If I take the extra two, the poop and the fire blast would kill me, so whatever. Moral coil, that ain't going to do it. Job done. Well, boo. I do tend to fo I do tend to waste resources on the things that are like in front of me, even though I know I should probably be saving them. But you can have the opposite problem. You can save your resources, and then you find out after take after getting hit for five three turns in a row that oh, in hindsight, I should have blown up that five five when I had the chance and the mana. So two two losses in a row. That's really annoying, especially since that first one felt like it should have been a win. Like I was so close, but. Well, we'll just see if I can recover this run at all next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash Demonac.